Hi guys! So in this video I wanted to talk about the books I haul this month or at least show you guys because I can't. So my plan was actually not to buy so many books this month and then it just happened. Like, you know, it happens. And uh, the first one is The Kiss of Deception and uh, I, will, I, I have recorded a book talk about this book so I won't get into it too much now. I can just quickly say that it's about Leah who uh, goes to, uh, runs away on a wedding day because she doesn't want to be a pawn in uh, like her mother and father's side over her life. She wants to marry for love. And then there is this assassin and this prince and after her and we don't know who is who and uh, we see what happens and yeah. Uh, one of the bookstores I go to a lot it closed down and then there was 50% sale on everything. Uh, I was like crying myself to buy these books. And uh, the first one that caught my eye was Limine by Amy Kaufman and Jay Kristoff. And uh, I actually don't know what this book is about. I just seen a lot of people talk about it and it looks really cool. Like, hello, look at it. It looks amazing. And uh, I just really wanted to read it. And I have it actually in hardcover because that was the only one he had and it was on sale so I can buy it. I'm so happy. <laughs> so yes, uh, I, 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 yes. And then it is A Code of Thorns and Roses by Sarah J Maas. So I haven't actually read any of Sarah J Maas's book yet. J J Sarah J Maas's books yet. But uh, I want to go, go to it really soon. And I really wanted this one. I wanted this one for a long time. Like since a long time. And it was on sale. Uh, so I think this is a retelling of Beauty and the Beast. It's a vague retelling. But it's still a retelling. And uh, it sounds really cool. And uh, it's going to be serious. And I'm looking forward to read it. And the Sarah J Maas. And people are saying she's really good. Uh... So yes, yoohoo! And then I bought <laughs> Prisoner of Nine and F Nine and Fog. I was about to say Frog uh, by Anna Blankman, and this is about the niece of Hitler. Like, so for, of course, uh, not a real one, but I guess. And then she falls in love uh, with this Jew, and then um, we see what happens. And it's supposed to be so good, so I'm so looking forward to read it. And uh, it looks cool, and I'm like, yay, okay. And then it's The Queen of the Chilling by Erika Johansson. And um, I don't actually, I just read what's behind it, and then it just sounds that it's about Kelsia who becomes queen, and she can even be a cool ruler, or she would be dead in within a week. And I don't know why would she be dead in a week, but I guess I have to read a book to find out. And it looks so cool and I heard so many good things about it and I just want to read it, yay! I'm so happy I got all this book. S books! And it just makes me happy because I love, I love them. Yes. I don't love them because I haven't read them yet, but I hope they're good and I'm looking forward to reading them a lot. So, the next books I got is The Ugly Series by Scott West. Oh. Feld, Westerfeld and I already read all these books and uh, I read them a few years ago and I love them like these have been my this was is I don't even know anymore one of my one of my favorite series of all time I just love this book because it started out really stereotypical but then it they became really uh, really cool and I just fell in love with everything in, like it was of course there were small things that's always but I really like them so this is the trilogy uh, and this is sort of a book that goes after this book but it's about other characters but still the characters from this book shows up in this book and uh, I just bought them because I could and um, I don't have them and I really wanted them and I want I've been wanting them for a long time and now I do and they are so uh, nice. So to say quick what the series is about, of course not the whole series, but the first book, it's about Tally lives in the future and uh, in the future it's like when you turn 16 you get this uh, operation thingy then you become pretty with big letters. Like if you're normal, like me and you, 
then you're ugly, no matter what. No matter how you look like. No matter if you're Megan Fox, you're ugly, okay? <laughs> I'm kidding. And then when you're pretty, you get this big operation, and then you get pretty. Now, yes. And uh, that's when you have, I mean, you're 16. But Tali's new friend, Shay, isn't sure she wants to be pretty, which is pretty unusual in the world, because that's a big thing. And Shay runs away um, before she can turn 16, and then the authorities, known as specials, come to Tally and tell her that she has to find Shay and where other people that don't, don't want the operation is, uh, if she wants to become pretty. And if she don't do it, she will never get to become pretty. And Carl, uh, Carly? Did I just say Carly? And T Tally is like, no, and then we'll see what happens. And then the story expands out of that and it's really good guys. It's really nice. And I really want to reread the series this year by the way. I hope I get to it because I'm slow but the book aren't heavy so they're really easy to read so I can probably get through it. So that was everything for the January book haul. So thank you so much for watching. Uh, which books did you get in January? Did you get any nice ones? Because I sure did. And I will see you all soon. Goodbye!